Hi, this is Glenda, and today I will show you how to make uh, this peacock. It's actually really easy because it's, I just used a mold, and the mold I made out of polymer clay years ago, and then I used silicone to do it. Um, but um, I wanted to show you this, which is something that I made out of soap dough, and it's just pretty much different colors of soap dough roll into each other to simulate the eye of the peacock feather and I'm going to be using this you know for the feathers and what I've been doing is that I've just been putting it on the cavities if you look at the mold it has the cavities for the feathers and then the body and then the smaller feathers now I know that you probably don't have a mold like this but I think you may have a similar one or you may have um, Maybe it's not an animal mold that you have. It may be an object for which multiple colors would be ideal. And maybe you're spending now time painting it with mica. In painting with mica, even though it looks gorgeous at the end, it does have the drawback that it only lasts one time. You know, once you put water into it, it washes off and it's gone. If you put color soap dough, on the other hand, it would last longer than that. Depending how thick you make it, it will last just the thickness of the embed. Now, I've mentioned before that I make my own soap dough, and I do it following a recipe from Miliara from Sorcery Soaps, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. But uh, if you don't want to make your own soap dough, you could also buy it. She sells it on her website, um, sorcerysoaps.com, I believe it is. And you can buy different colors to play with it. And it actually a little bit goes a long way. I've made my soap dough, I made about a, a pound of each color that you see here. And they lasted me quite a while for several decorations because you only used a little bit for the decorations. You don't use a whole lot, really. One of the advantages of using soap dough instead of melt and pour is that you can remove it from the mold uh, quite fast. I usually leave it in the mold about a minute or two, and then I remove it. And if I want to make another figure, then I can use the same mold. Um, with melt and pour, for example, if you want to make multiples of something, you have to have that many cavities. Otherwise, you have to melt it, pour it, wait for it to harden, remove it, and then reuse it. Using soap dough, it's a little bit faster, actually a lot faster. And you don't have to have uh, multiple molds. You could just have one and just use that one for all of your embeds. Now, yes, it's not as fast as doing a whole bunch. If you're doing maybe more than a dozen, I'll probably recommend multiple molds. Okay, so because of the shape of the mold, I found that it works better because it, you know, it has, these are supposed to be feathers, the longer feathers, and this is supposed to be the shorter ones. So I, Try to squeeze the soap dough together outside and then put it in so that it sort of matches the mold. Not on this one, the yellow is coming to the actual body of the peacock and I don't need it, so I'm gonna remove it manually. And then the actual peacock, I want him to be blue or turquoise, so I'm going to fill it in with that. And it does help if you have a smooth surface going in, because that's going to be... It, it, it's going to be the, the, the same texture that it will have in the mold. So, for example, if I put just soap like this and you know how it has that line when if I squeeze it in like that my final product will have that line too so I do want to have um, 
as smooth as I can surface going in. I'm going to use some of this yellow for the beak. And then the leftover, I'm just going to mush it all together. And it does help to have like any extra ones that I have. I'm just going to put them on top. It's not going to be seen. This is the part that's going to go into the soap. But it does help to have a thicker piece. That way they won't break easily. And when it comes out of the mold, it will be actually easier to get it out. So... This is pretty much it. Uh, what's next is that I'm going to um, let it air dry for a little bit, maybe a couple minutes, and then I'm going to remove it. Now, before I do that, though, I'm gonna clean up the mold so that I define the edges of it and to lift sort of move the soap dough along that shape. This will actually help the design as well. You see, you can see here, this is how it look. If I had left it on the sides, then you will see it around here. And also on the other side over here, it will have not a true shape to what the mold was. So this is pretty much it. I think I found, I defined most of the edges. Just need to do the beak. And now I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and now I'm gonna unmold it. And I start just by both pulling and pushing from the back. To make it pop out and there we go so it looks like the neck was cut off oh I guess yes because I didn't I put the piece for the neck first and then I put the piece of the head and it does if I would have just put the soap dough into one piece it would have been better but it's still soft that I can smooth it out and now I'm going to adjust the uh, beak, but overall looks pretty nice. I also need to probably smooth these feathers over here, which I will. Um, when it's still soft, I do like to make the little dot for the eye, just like that. So that's what it looks from the back, and that's what it looks from the front. I could also if I want it at Micah, but I think I will not. I like it as it is.